Good morning, Philippines. Well, today I'd like to talk to you about one of the unsolved mysteries of the Philippines. General Tomoyuki Yamashita of the Japanese Imperial Army was given the task of hiding all the gold that the Japanese had taken from all of Southeast Asia, from temples, from banks, from all kinds of places. They ransacked Southeast Asia during the Second World War and efforts were made to hide the gold that they had before the Americans came. And this is proven back in the 1980s when a Mr. Roxas, a lockkeeper, discovered some of the gold. And there's photographs, one here, of uh, the Golden Buddha that was over uh, 20 carats of gold that uh, was confessed by Imelda Marcos as being melted down to support the Philippine economy years ago, whether anybody believes that or not. But Mr. Roxas did secure a uh, judgment against the Marcos family for taking his gold after they tortured him for it. And, but that's another story. What I'm talking about today is the fact that there are several places from Mindanao to Luzon where General Yuko Shita Yama, Yama, what is the Yamashita, General Yamashita hid his gold. And um, a rumor came to me from a family member that they had possibly a site within the family lands. So I was asked to bring a gold uh, metal detector from Canada on a recent trip. And this was prompted by a story of Japanese troops that had occupied the island of Leyte during the Second World War. And they were on my mother-in-law's farm, her father's farm. And when the Japanese came, he heard them and he ran and he hid in the coconut tree for several nights. He stayed up in that coconut tree and witnessed them excavate and bury the gold. And not only that, he said that the Philippine workers, that the Japanese forced them into servitude to dig the hole that they buried the gold in uh, were all buried with the gold and now my brother-in-law wants to go dig it up so they dug for several days based upon the location that had been found and it created a huge pit but I was not really keen on getting involved because it's also part of the tra tale that uh, Yamashita secured large amounts of explosives to protect his golden treasures. And I was afraid they'd get booby-trapped and blown up. So I said, please don't do anything until we get a metal detector in there to, to find it out. Now, the Japanese were on the neighboring farm, it is true, and where there was a site for spotting American flyovers there on the neighboring farm. So when I did get to the site, and we did the metal detector, a grid search, um, adjacent to the hole where they were digging, I did get readings along a strip, but based upon the sound and the tone, it was not gold that I'd found. It looked like it was iron. And I believe it was probably rebar from some concrete foundation bunker because the Japanese were also known to hide armaments under the ground for fighting uh, the fly.
flyovers with anti-aircraft uh, guns. So after several weeks of digging, the hole started to fill with groundwater and the site was abandoned. And to this day, we have no idea whether we are onto something or not. But this is just one of the many stories you'll find about the Philippines. Uh, it is really unsolved mysteries times 7,000 islands. There's something happening here or hidden here every day. And maybe in the next go-round, I'll tell you about the abominable snowman and Negros. And we'll, we'll go on from there. So if you're looking for mystery in your life, you, you don't have to look very far here in the Philippines. There's plenty of it. Was uh, Yamashita's gold ever all found? That's still up in the air. But the Philippines is the area where you're most likely to find it in buried treasure in the world or sunken treasure because it is directly in the path of every and naval passage in Southeast Asia. You can't go to China or you can't go to India w without going through the Philippine waterways uh, for supplies, etc. So, yeah, if you want mystery, if you want uh, to discover something, you come to the Philippines. Just on a side note, <clears throat> I bought my house from a guy named Martin Woodward. He was an international treasure hunter, and he spent a lot of time here in the Philippines. Martin told me that he has a museum of some of the treasures he's got in the Isle of Wight in uh, the English Channel. So if you'd like to do some research or get a hold of him, you can look him up. So, yeah, there's a lot of mystery here. And that's it for this one hope you found it interesting please like and subscribe click that notification bell and share but uh, if you can leave your comments in the section below uh, you can discuss this amongst yourselves uh, you treasure hunters if you've got some ideas of where to look or some secrets that you're ready to divulge now or maybe some areas that should be looked at let us know and if you like this uh, video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.